WhatsApp from Busy. In this presentation, we will discuss that how you can send WhatsApp messages from Busy. You can send invoice, reports, ledgers to your party. Not only to your parties, you can send this invoice or reports to your mobile number also. Basically, WhatsApp does not allow sending WhatsApp messages through third-party applications, but the desktop version of WhatsApp allow third-party applications to send WhatsApp messages along with certain restrictions. Restrictions like you can send one message at a time, and in case of multiple messages, you need to click the send icon every time a message is sent. That is, for each message, you need to click the send icon again. To send WhatsApp messages from Busy, there are three steps involved. Step one is download and install WhatsApp desktop setup on your computer. That is a computer on which Busy application is installed. On that particular computer, you need to download and install WhatsApp desktop setup. Please note, you are not required to open the WhatsApp web browser. Step two is configuration in Busy. That is, certain configuration is required in Busy. And step three is sending WhatsApp messages from Busy. So we'll start with our step one, that is download and install WhatsApp desktop setup on your computer. So the computer on which the Busy application is installed, or you can say the computer on which you will be using your Busy application, you need to download and install WhatsApp desktop setup on that particular computer. Again, we would like to say that some user confused it with WhatsApp web browser. This is not the case. You are not required to open the WhatsApp web browser. You only have to install the WhatsApp desktop setup on your computer. Prerequisite for installing WhatsApp desktop setup is that your computer must have a 64-bit operating system along with Windows 8 and above installed on it. On installing the WhatsApp desktop setup, an icon of it will start appearing on your computer's desktop. Double click this WhatsApp icon and you can see a screen is appearing on the screen just like the screen shown in this video. On the screen, you can see a QR code. You have to scan this QR code with your mobile phone. To scan this QR code, you need to open WhatsApp on your mobile phone and in the WhatsApp, go to settings and WhatsApp web option. Now bring your phone closer to the computer screen and once this QR code is scanned by your mobile phone, that is it is validated, then you can see that your WhatsApp will start appearing on your computer screen. This means now your computer and mobile are connected and the same WhatsApp screen which is you are viewing on your mobile phone, the same screen is now appearing on your computer. Now we'll come to our step 2 that is configuration in PC. First you need to configure the SMS API. For this we'll go to administration configuration SMS API configuration. If you send SMS from busy then you must be knowing this configuration. Configuration for WhatsApp is totally similar to SMS configuration. First of all we'll create a new format by clicking the add new format button. Here you can specify any name of your choice. Then at the right hand side, you can see an option upload PDF. Enable this option if you want to send PDF files along with your messages. Basically, the desktop version of WhatsApp does not allow sending PDF files directly. However, the link of the PDF file will be embedded in the message. So when the receiver will click that link, then PDF file will get open on his mobile phone. Next is SMS API. Under this box, you need to specify the WhatsApp API. This API has been provided to you by the WhatsApp and as this API is provided by the WhatsApp, so its continuation will totally be dependent on the WhatsApp. Next, you need to specify the parameter name for mobile and message fields. Here we have taken the parameter name as phone number for mobile and message for message. This information is case sensitive. Please enter it very carefully. Click save button to save this configuration. On clicking the save button, Busy is showing a message that configured API belongs to WhatsApp. For sending messages, please install WhatsApp desktop version. We have already discussed it in the earlier part of the presentation. Next, it's saying that the API does not work in background and WhatsApp desktop will pop up every time a message is sent to it. That is, whenever you will send a WhatsApp message, WhatsApp's desktop screen will pop up and you need to click the send icon to send the message. At the end, it's showing two buttons for help videos and help documents. You can click this button and refer to the help documents or help videos provided by Busy in case you face any problem during this configuration. 
Next we will be configuring our voucher series that is the series for which we will be sending our WhatsApp messages we need to configure those series so for this we'll go to administration configuration voucher series configuration let us suppose we want to configure the main series of sales voucher so here we'll select the sales main option and then click the voucher configuration button on the screen at the right hand side you can see an option send sms after saving is appearing Specify yes in this option. This means that yes, we want to send an SMS after saving the voucher. Next, click the configure button. Here, first of all, it's asking that number of formats. We are taking it as one. You can create and configure up to four formats here. Then is the option PDF attachment format one. That is the format in which the PDF file will be sent. So here we are selecting the standard option. You can select any format of your choice. Then is prompt for sending SMS. Specify yes in this option if you want busy to ask you for sending SMS at the time of voucher saving. Basically, if you specify yes in this option, then a message box prompting you to send SMS will appear at the time of voucher saving. Then is show SMS option. Specify yes in this option to view SMS sending options at the time of voucher saving. Basically, in the SMS sending option window, you can change the format in which the message is to be sent. Then is send to party. Yes. Yes, we want to send messages to the party and then is send to self that is you want to send messages to your mobile number also. If you specify yes in this option, then next you need to specify the mobile number that is your mobile number on which WhatsApp message will be sent. So till now we have configured the SMS API and the voucher series. Now our next step would be to make sure that we have specified the WhatsApp number with each party. For this we'll open the account master in modify mode assuming that our parties are already created. So here we are opening a sundry debtor account in the modify mode and you can see in the WhatsApp number field mobile number of the party is specified. Here two points are very important. First is that you need to add country code before specifying the mobile number. For example, if you, your country is India, then you need to write 91 and then the mobile number. Second point is that you are not required to add any plus symbol, comma, space or any special character in this particular field. So this means first you have to add a country code and second you should not use any special character like plus symbol, comma or any space in the WhatsApp number data field. Now we'll come to our step 3 that is sending WhatsApp messages from PC. For this we are opening a sales voucher and selecting the main series. We have configured the main series of the sale voucher under voucher series configuration. Specify the header related details for the voucher, select the party, specify item related details and apply the required bills and trees. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, this is showing a message that send SMS standard. Click yes button in this message box to send the SMS. This message box has appeared because we have specified yes in the prompt for sending SMS option under voucher series configuration. Next, this is showing SMS sending options window. Select the format in which the message will be sent. And then this window is appearing in which busy is asking you want to send WhatsApp using phone or internet. Then it's showing SMS API format as WA which we have just created. If you have created any other format also then you can select any format of your choice. Then it's showing the message body text and the WhatsApp number of the party that is the mobile number specified in the WhatsApp field of the accounts master of the party used in the voucher. Click send button and you can see a WhatsApp desktop screen is appearing. We have said earlier also that every time WhatsApp desktop screen will appear when you will be sending a message. In the WhatsApp desktop screen you can see messages appearing and along with it link for the PDF file is embedded in it. We have mentioned earlier also that PDF files are not sent directly using the desktop version. Only the link of the PDF file is embedded in the message and when the person receiving this message will click this link, he would be able to open the PDF file. Click send icon to send this message. So this is the case when we are sending WhatsApp message on saving the voucher. If you want to send invoices from already saved vouchers, then you need to open the voucher in modify mode and click the SMS button provided at the top of the voucher. Next, we will be discussing that how you can send WhatsApp for bulk invoices. For this, we will go to print email SMS menu, print utilities option. Let us suppose we want to send sales invoice. Then 
here we will be selecting the inventory voucher option and then the sales option specify that you want to filter voucher on the basis of date range or voucher number wise we are selecting the date wise option specify the starting date ending date and click the sms button now a screen is appearing in which you need to specify that whether you want to send sms to individual party that is the mobile number of the party as specified in the whatsapp number field of the account master or on the mobile number specified below basically on the selecting this option you will specify a mobile number in the whatsapp number field and message will be sent on that particular number now you can see again the whatsapp desktop screen is appearing with the link of the pdf file embedded in it click send icon to send the message now this is showing the message that proceed to send next message this message will appear after each invoice we have mentioned earlier also that to send multiple vouchers you need to click the send icon again and again for example you have 10 invoices to send so this message proceed to send next message will appear for nine times and each time you need to click the yes button in the message box and then whatsapp desktop screen will appear in which you need to click the send icon now we will send a party wise report let us say we'll send a ledger to the party for this we'll go to account books ledger option we are sending the ledger in the standard format select the party specify the starting date ending date and click the sms button again whatsapp desktop screen is appearing and you need to click the send icon to send the ledger to the party so in this presentation we have discussed that how you can download and install whatsapp desktop setup on your computer then configure the sms api and configure the voucher series make sure you have specified the whatsapp number for the parties and then you are ready to send whatsapp messages from busy hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily send whatsapp messages from busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel